Command Sergeant Major Schmidt, Command Sergeant Major Shirley, Mr. McKinney, Mr. Ortiz, Command Sergeant Major Lara, distinguished guests, friends and family. Welcome to the Non-Commission Officer Leadership Center of Excellence graduation ceremony for the Spouse Leadership Development Course, Class 22-010. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the invocation given by Chaplain Joseph Salem and remain standing for the playing of the national anthem. Let us pray. Lord, we're so grateful that we get to meet tonight to honor these senior spouses. For these graduates of SLDC personify servant leadership, the very heart of our resilience and readiness. Lord, as these leaders go forth from here, we trust that you will help unleash their considerable wisdom, experience, and influence on the units and families they will serve. Father, we thank you for Ms. Mabane and the many guest speakers who helped SLDC be a success. And finally, Lord, we pray your protection and blessing on all of our families and military, especially those in harm's way. It's in your holy name we pray. Amen. The Spouse Leadership Development course is delivered in a resident, blended, or distributed learning course format. This course builds upon the senior spouse's basic knowledge of leadership, group dynamics, and team building by enhancing awareness of current theories and models of human psychology. The learning environment encourages and supports expression of diverse ideas, opinions, and beliefs related to current issues and challenges facing families regarding Army living programs and transformational initiatives. The experience forges and maintains strong peer support groups among senior spouses and creates a support network to sustain progress beyond the course. It is my pleasure to introduce the Chief of the Spouse Leadership Development Course, Ms. Michelle Mabane. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to SLDC Class 22, the graduation ceremony. It is so great looking at the faces of the kids. Look at your faces, beautiful families together. This is awesome. The different things that we can do online. I want to thank all the spouses who took the course, the chain of command who gave me the opportunity to work with you great spouses. Want to reach out to all the subject matter experts who taught the different classes. Mr. Crozier, who's now recording, and the media team, the chaplain who gave the invocation, and he actually came out and taught two awesome classes that's important to the spouses. Our MC, Sergeant First Class Williams, the panel members, did we have a great panel or what? Somehow we linked up with three class 69 spouses who came back online and shared their experiences with these new spouses. This was an awesome panel member. And Mrs. Arsenal was there. This was awesome. To the spouses, 
Thank you for encouraging your spouse to sign up for the course. The children and the pets. We saw y'all every night parading up and down the screen, even the cats. As you watch the spouses graduate tonight, they really have the strength from within. This class was from five o'clock in the evening to 10 o'clock in the night, mountain time, meaning the spouses on the East Coast, their time was 7 p.m. to 12 midnight. And we had over 11 of them in the classes that was on East time. Wow. We had spouses who were working their regular jobs and still came to the course. None of them complained, not to me, but of course, I caught a couple of them yawning every night. As you look at the spouses, we have three prior service member. We have one National Guard, one reservist. We have an AGR spouse. We have many of these spouses, what you're going to see graduate this evening, that are actually volunteering in their community. There's one spouse, listen to this, with over 8,000 volunteer hours. One spouse was awarded the Mary E. Walker Award. These spouses are doing things. We have one spouse from class 69, class 69. So for those of you who are watching and you've been gone for a while, there's still a chance for you to come to SLDC. Reach out to me, sign up for the course. It's never too late to the graduates, all 15 of you. Your motto, strength from within. After eight days, listening to the stories you share, going over your personality results, your inner strength is deep. Regardless of your circumstances, and I'll tell you a couple of them, Moving a lot, PCSN. Some gave birds while the soldiers were deployed. Being the same parent, but the other parent is deployed or TDY. Overcoming sicknesses, leaving jobs, neighbors, and friends you love. You are all overcomers. And the strong thing about you all, you're willing to support your service members and move to the next level as advisors and as mentors. I wish you all the best in the future. Reach back if you need anything. Strength from within. Thank you all. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce our spouse leadership development course class representative, Ms. Shannon Kishwanis from Ohio. She has been married to Master Sergeant Daniel Kishwanis for over 13 years. They are proud parents of three amazing children, Galen, nine, Rowan, eight, and Ian, four. She is a reporter, radio broadcaster, and human resources assistant. Her hobbies are photography, art, music, Irish dance, and reading. Shannon is a recipient of the Mary E. Walker Award. She is a long-standing member of various Masonic affiliated and patriotic societies. She is excited and proud to support her husband in his ambitious and career. She will now share some words of encouragement to her classmates. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Kishwanis. Thank you very much for that kind introduction. It is an honor to be chosen to represent the Spouse Leadership Development Course Class 22-10. I would like to begin by thanking Ms. Mabane. Thank you for your service, your strength, the dedication you model, and the insight you share. You bring so much to this class and the knowledge you have passed along from personal experience and by connecting us with subject matter experts is invaluable. We cannot thank you enough. Fellow spouses, Thank you 
for your dedication to your soldiers, your communities, and the further pursuit of knowledge. We are a group of diverse individuals spread across the country with uniquely different backgrounds. Your openness, as we shared this week, highlights the power of connection. Isn't that really what it's all about? It's not about the social functions, the activities, fundraisers, or awards. It's about connecting and cultivating positive change together. You gain strength, courage, and confidence by every experience in which you really stop to look fear in the face. You are able to say to yourself, I lived through this horror, I can take the next thing that comes along. These words from Eleanor Roosevelt speak to us. As military spouses, whether we have experienced horror or joy, difficulty or ease, we have amassed a vast reservoir of experience from which to draw in times of adversity. Each of us is unique and diverse, but through shared experience, we have mutual understanding. As we transition from the role of SFRG leadership into advisory mentorship positions, it is our privilege to pass along our hard-won knowledge and allow our experiences to guide the next generation of military spouses to success. Strength from within. SLDC class 22-10, this is our motto. This is our battle cry. This is the gift we have to pass along to future leaders. In the course of this class, we have explored our strengths, our weaknesses, and we have dug into our past to examine the experiences that make us who we are. We have gained new knowledge and been given new tools to use to improve the lives of soldiers and their families. We have reinforced the importance of working together towards future success. The Brazilian soccer player Pele said, success is no accident. It's hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you are doing or learning to do. All of us have a common bond, and that bond is love, love for our soldiers and our community. As we move forward, let us motivate others, support them in their quest to greater knowledge, and celebrate with them when the hard work pays off. By guiding incoming spouses to programs that will help them grow, we are showing our confidence in their ability and encouraging them to have confidence in themselves. In this way, we are shaping the leaders of tomorrow. When times are difficult, we model perseverance by providing resources instead of rescue. We mentor them by building them up through constructive evaluation instead of tearing them down with criticism. My grandmother always said, you can catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. Well, we don't have to be close with everyone we meet. If we foster a positive and supportive environment, we go a long way toward helping soldiers and their families reach their full potential. So let us move forward with inspired and hopeful hearts ready to motivate and serve and meet challenges head on, working together to find effective solutions. Strength from within. Thank you. We ask that you hold your applause until all graduates have been announced. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great honor that we present the Spouse Leadership Development Course graduates of class 22-010. Strength from within! Please turn off all cameras at this time. Catherine? Hi, my name is Katherine Banaszak. We currently live in El Paso, Texas, by way of Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Elizabeth. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Carranza, a reservist wife from the 63rd Readiness Division, Mountain View, California. Chua. My name is Chua Chim, active duty wife, currently stationed at Fort Bliss, Texas, recently PCS from Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Teresa. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Teresa Davis, currently at Fort Polk, Louisiana, representing 317. Allison. It's me again, Allison Hash, and my family behind me. We are proud Maryland Army National Guard family from Conowingo, Maryland. Robin. I am Robin Hilt from Fort Leavenworth, Kansas. Amy. I'm Amy Jessup coming to you from Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Shannon. I'm Shannon Kishwanis coming to you from Fort Carson, Colorado. Rebecca. Hello, I'm Rebecca Lewis and I am currently at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Luce. Good evening, my name is Luz Martinez and we are at the center of the universe in Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Natalie. Hello, I'm Natalie Munoz and we are currently located at Rock Island Arsenal, Illinois. Davina. Hello, I'm Davina Nelson and I'm at Cap Parks, Dublin, California. Zalika. Hi, I'm Zalika Smith and I'm here in El Paso, Texas. Cecilia. Hi, I'm Cecilia Taylor coming to you from Fort Bliss in El Paso, Texas. Olivia. Hi, I'm Olivia Templeton from Fort Hood, Texas. Everybody, please turn on all your cameras. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the graduates of the Spouse Leadership Development Course. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the singing of the Army song.
ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. Strength from within. Strength from within. Strength from within. Hold up. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I'm gonna load it. Yay. Yay. Yay.